Hi, and welcome to the Clarity PPM, Preparing Your System for Installation, video. In this video, you will learn, how to set up your system, for installing the on-premise flavor, of Clarity PPM 15.5.1. CA PPM, has been rebranded, as Clarity PPM. While this video, was originally created, for CA PPM 15.5.1, it is also valid for, Clarity PPM 15.6. Before you begin the installation process, ensure you visit the Clarity PPM documentation, and view the release notes, to learn about hardware and software specifications. Let's start by logging into the CA Support website, and selecting Download Management. Let's search for CA PPM. We can see that the CA PPM on-premise application, is available for download. Since I have super admin access, I can also see the SAS version. You will only see the on-premise application, in your search bar. Let's select on-premise. We currently have 11 product downloads, for PPM. Let's click the Product Downloads section. We are going to download, the latest version of CA Clarity Creator, User License, Multi-Platform. Let's click the link, to view the downloadable assets for PPM 15.5.1. The PPM 15.5.1 Install Media, is the base media which contains PPM. You can also see the third-party JAR files, which are required to run PPM. We will be downloading both these files. You can see a couple of files, that are used when you install Jaspersoft, for reporting. We will not be using these files, in the current installation process. We have already downloaded the install media, and the third-party libraries, into a temporary folder. Let's mount the PPM install media ISO file. I am using a freeware called Virtual Clone Drive, to mount the file. Please check with your IT administrators, in case they recommend any specific software, to mount ISO files. When you double click the mounted file, you will see various folders. Let's quickly review the contents of each folder. The client folder, contains the various client tools we provide, such as MSP, OWB, Schedule Connect, and SUG. The database folder contains the database base files, which is a backup dump for PPM and data warehouse data structures. PPM supports SQL and Oracle databases. We are using the Oracle database in our scenario. The Java folder contains the installer, for the Windows and Linux operating systems. The Tomcat folder contains Apache Tomcat, for Windows and Linux. We now need to create a local folder, and copy various files from the ISO. The ISO is mounted as a read-only file, and hence we cannot extract files, directly from there. You can see that our temporary directory, now has the relevant installation files, including Tomcat, Java, and the main install executable jar file. Let's unmount the DVD master file, and mount the third-party library file. You can see the third-party library, and a text file. The text file is a checksum integrity file, that validates that the ISO file, has been downloaded correctly. If your download has an issue, you will get a different message, in this text file. From the mounted drive, copy the third-party library jar file, to the temporary folder. We now have everything required, to install Clarity PPM. Next, we need to figure out where to install PPM. We have created a folder called App, on the C drive, and under this folder, we have created the PPM, and Tomcat folders. Let's copy and extract the Tomcat file, in the Tomcat directory.
Let's delete the Tomcat zip folder, to ensure we only have extracted files, in this directory. Next, we will install Java. You may have other versions of Java, installed on your computer. In my system, they are visible in the Java directory, on the C drive. We will now install Java 11, which is used by PPM. Let's navigate to the temporary folder and install Java. The installer asks you for the location for installing Java. It is always recommended, you install Java where the folder name, does not include a space. Since we have a Java folder on the C drive, let's install Java there. Let's create an environment variable, to define Java home. You need administrator access, to create an environment variable. If you don't have access, please ask your administrator, to do this task for you. Let's select system properties, and then select environment variables. Let's update the Java home variable, to Java 11. We also need to update the path variable. Let's copy the path variable, to a notepad file to learn more about it. You can see that there is a path variable, called java home slash bin. Let's validate the java version, by using the command prompt. Type java version, to validate that you are running java 11. You have now set up java, and tomcat. Next, we will create a new folder called install and copy the install executable file there. Let's open the command prompt, and use this command, to extract the executable file. This command will throw an error, if your Java home is not set correctly. You can use tools, such as WinZip or WinRAR, to extract the file. This is not advisable, because the ISO can get corrupted, on certain occasions. Please allow the extraction process to complete, since it may take a few minutes. We have now completed the extraction process, and are ready to install PPM. Please watch the Clarity PPM installation video, to continue your installation. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble, in the top right corner, to load the product page.